when you're a counselor, these kind of talks are pretty easy because you're usually speaking about a camper and so you got a lot of material, to do, but it's fairly focused. And so to talk about uh, you know, father-son camp or just camp in general this morning is uh, a little more difficult to dial in because you got a ton of material to work with. But um, you know, it struck me that camp is basically a talent and development factory. And um, Big D and Don and uh, all the broad ridges sort of make the pitch that the activities at camp are the ones that you can uh, learn for life. But I think they sort of undersell it a little bit because they only say it's 12, 13, or 14 activities. But the, the range of activities is, is endless. I, mean, I look at my own experience and I know, being a camper and a counselor, that over the years I would watch what other campers and counselors did, and uh, you know, I just think that's a cool talent. I want to learn how to do that. I mean, I learned how to juggle because Wayne juggles. I learned how to play the guitar because at least ten of my friends played the guitar, and then finally I saw one guy, Larry Lee Webb, who could literally sit down and pick out a song with anybody who's already playing and I was like, that guy knows something that nobody else knows. I want to learn what it is. That's why I learned how to play the guitar. And the list goes on and on and on. And, it, and it's not, um, you know, it's not just sports or hobbies or avocations. I mean, it's how to be a friend and how to be a leader and, um, you know, just how to be a very good person in general. And, and Don and I have talked a lot over the years um, yeah, it's sort of a mystery why Broadridge's granddad started this place. I mean, what makes a dentist from the North Shore of Illinois want to come up to the North Woods and start a camp? I don't necessarily know what the answer is to that, but um, you think about 80 plus years of development of young men in general, and it's amazing. It just compounds itself out, you know, from camper to counselor to, to AC to counselor to, to now fathers and sons uh, coming up here. And so father-son camp um, is really amazing because you know, dads get to come and witness for four days, four or five days, a little bit of development every year that we see in our, in our kids. And uh, it's something that the parents miss when their kids are here at camp. You know, their kids go away. When they come home, you know that they're a different person, that they've learned a lot, they've grown, and they've, they've got new talents, and they've developed an awful lot. But Father-Son Camp is uh, very special because we get to witness it in our, in our own sons, and we get to witness it in our friends' sons, and acquaintances' sons, and just guys who keep coming back year after year. And so I just want to thank the Broad Bridges. Um, is, is this the 21st year of Father-Son Camp? I think something like that. I mean, I was here with my dad 20 years ago, I know, and I think that was the second year. So, you know, hats off to you guys. Thank you for making this available to us uh, for these four days. And again, at the end of the year, it's, uh, you know, it's an amazing experience. And uh, this, this place is great for our sons and for us. And uh, I appreciate it, you know, from the bottom of my heart. Um, so let's keep it going. Here's the 20, 25, 30, 35, 100 more years of, of uh, father, son, and Camp Deerhorn. Thanks.